A standard feature on our tent is the ridge pole sleeves. What these are for is if you want to just pack the canvas into the wilderness and set the tent up with timbers, you run a log, a ridge pole, through the tent and support it with two cross beams. This drawstring on here is designed, you can seal this up and tie it if you don't want them exposed. A lot of people will leave it open for ventilation. We have this tent set up with our internal frame. Our internal frame comes with a four-way angle at this location. That angle is designed to receive a short pole if you want to hang a lantern, or you can stick a, a longer ridge pole in it for a tarp, for a vestibule, or an awning. You should take care and make sure the pin on that four-way angle is to the back of the tent. Up at the very top of the tent, there's a grommet that will go over this pin. We put that grommet on there because it keeps the, the tent tight end to end, keeps the canvas from wanting to crawl up over the top of the frame. So make sure the pin's to the back. You can turn this angle around the wrong way. You might be able to stretch your tent that five inches, but you don't want to. And if you are setting up a rain fly, you definitely will not be able to stretch the rain fly that far. So pin to the back. The ridge pole sleeve, if you have that pole in there, can be sealed up around that as well. We also have a small version of these we call eave sleeves that would be located on each side at the corners. This is a, an advantage with the internal frame. You can run another column out in front of your tent Having the frame all interconnected is absolutely the best way to accomplish an awning, a porch, a cooking area, whatever you want to call it out here in the front. So if you want to have an awning, the best way to do it is eave sleeves at the side and order an extra set of angles for the front.